So we're going to look at turning a set written out in set notation to interval notation. And in order to do this, one of the best ways to do it is use a number line. So we'll start with that. And we have two numbers we're going to use, one and two. Now, where should you plot these? The only thing that's important is one is less than two, so one needs to appear to the left of two. Another way to think about it, when you look to the right, your numbers need to increase. So I have that here. You don't have to line it up with your any type of marks on your paper. It's not important on this question. So we see that we have x. This vertical bar means such that x is less than 1. So less than 1 means everything that is to the left of 1. You're not allowed to equal. You could write not equal down below. And the way we're going to denote that is a uh, parenthesis here and then everything to the left. The other we have is x is greater than 2. Greater than means not equal to. So here's 2. Everything greater than 2 is to the right. So again we're using parentheses and everything to the right. Now either of these could happen. So let's go ahead and describe the left interval. Now what's all the way to the left on the number line? The thing that's smaller than all the numbers is negative infinity. And what's all the way to the right? What's bigger than all the numbers is positive infinity. You could think of those as the endpoints the line never actually reaches. So this interval here goes from negative infinity up to 1. You never actually hit negative infinity, so it's always going to be open. Now for us, you don't actually equal 1, so we have the open symbol or the uh, parenthesis. So that takes care of this first interval. Now the second interval here is going to start at 2, go to infinity. You never actually hit infinity, so it's always a parenthesis. And for us, you're not equal to 2, so it's also a parenthesis there. So this is our answer in interval notation, except I have to put something in between these two. Now the question uses the word or meaning it could be this or this, but that's not okay in interval notation. We use the symbol union, which is either a capital or a lowercase u on your keyboard, and that means union. And that uh, means you can come from either the first or the second interval. And if you have trouble remembering that union means or, uh, if I think of the word or, I usually write it with a lowercase r, and my r sort of vaguely, it doesn't look like a u, uh, but the other symbol uh, is an intersection, and the symbol for that would be an upside down u, uh, or an n on your keyboard, and I always think the or looks a lot more, the r looks a lot lower, more like a u than it does like an N, although now I'm looking at it, maybe it doesn't. You just have to remember U for union, N for intersection, and uh, hopefully that will uh, work for you.